Hi guys, this is GSNOM.com and I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S9. I know it has just been announced and now it's time for a quick hands-on review. So as you can see, we're dealing with the single camera unit here. There's also a dual camera unit known as the Galaxy S9 Plus. As you can see, it has glass at the back, glass at the front, but this time they've been cutting the bezels a little bit. So the lower bezel has been reduced, the top bezel has been reduced and they've done something interesting with the camera before that you should know that the small version the galaxy s9 has 4 gigabytes of ram 64 gigabytes of storage and a snapdragon a45 cpu or an exynos chipset they still have bixby in the mix and at the back there's a 12 megapixel camera which is capable of super slow motion capture and uh, it has a special adaptable aperture from f2.4 to f1.5 fingerprint scanner below the camera there's a flash here and i'm guessing this is the pulse sensor measures 8.5 millimeters in thickness glass at the back glass at the front and in case you're wondering this color is a lilac this is the hue we're playing with here and this is the samsung galaxy s9 samsung's flagship for the current year so 4 gigabytes of ram and the cpu well we have here the spec somewhere let's go quick and find them so 5.8 inch quad hd curved super amoled and it also comes with the super speed dual pixel 12 megapixel back camera a megapixel front shooter of course there's a micro sd card slot which now can host up to a value of 400 gigabytes quite impressive we're loading up gsnom.com you can clearly see the curved edges and of course you have the associated features and this is what GSM Dome looks like on the Galaxy S9. Okay, and uh, by the way, you can also use Bixby to identify food and uh, read the calories. So you show it food and it tells you the calories. And you can also use the camera to take a variety of shots. So you got your super slow-mo stuff. You got your selective focus. You got your pro mode here. You got your panorama. There's the food mode auto super slow-mo which is actually quite impressive from what i've seen there is the ar emoji and using ar emoji i can turn myself my own face into an emoji so you press here create my emoji this is my face and you should try and not talk while you're doing this let's try again okay mail next it's creating it i seem to be a bit scared for some reason oh apparently that's me not bad actually not bad you can change the skin tone you can also change the hairstyle hair color put on sunglasses and funky stuff and that's ar emoji in a nutshell okay so i also mentioned before you have the special variable thingy here you can go as you can see f1.5 is available come on so let's see how we can tweak this this is how you play with the shutter speed and that's quite impressive and i also seen good results with it on the automatic mode it produces great low light capture that's it in a nutshell they've reduced the bezels they've put new features on the camera and guess what stereo speakers speaker here speaker here tuned by akg and with a touch of dolby and another thing you can use the phone in landscape and they also launched a special dexpad dock you can put the phone there it has hdmi and it lets you use the phone as a touchpad or as a keyboard hooked up to a display that's it in a nutshell the experience with the phone and i'm pretty impressed by the design feels very light at around 160 grams or so and that's the small model the galaxy s9 the s9 plus is a separate affair bye bye